be making basics. What up, YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with fingers. Today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use Steinberg's uh, Hollyon Sonic plugin. Okay, um, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Holly on Sonic program, but anyway, that's gonna be a free VST um, controller and VSTs that you can use here in Logic Pro 10 for free. So let me just drop this going here. Um, basically, this is a uh, Holly on Seven, uh, Holly on Sonic Seven. Um, it's a pretty dope player. Okay, kind of a not really a sampler, but a player. And basically, you'll go to Steinberg and you can get these little packs okay so they have, they have these free packs um glock and spill they got this colors joint a lo-fi pack and then we got this like guitar uh pack here so what i'm going to do to demonstrate some things i'm going to go ahead and start with this lo-fi if you just click on it like that you can actually kind of search for stuff um that you want or you can just kind of scroll here um but yeah basically what you excuse me <laughs> My phone jumping here basically what you want to do is you can drag and drop you know your program or your layer right here and it's gonna coordinate right there so check this out like say this autumn breeze just drag that in there and now it's on the first channel what you're gonna see here is some ways to you know manipulate the sound um, they got flutter compress saturate reduce filter reverb pull up musical typing here we're gonna gonna get down a little bit um i'll put that in the background so you can see so i'm gonna go ahead and start with a note and you can see how i can like change the sound this one gives you like that bit sound different reverbs you can put on it all right so that's cool and then you can have mute here and we have a solo here now the cool thing is we can also start the layer sounds um, what you can do, let's say if we want to go, um, let's click back on here. Let's say if we want to go to like this uh, Glock, Glockenspiel, you can take this and now drag it uh, actually right on here. This is the other track. Same difference here though. You can control how that sounds. And if I want to like take this piano off and just tear that off. And so let's see here. What you want to do sometimes if you're not getting sound on this other one, you just go to MIDI. And you have to make sure for whatever reason it's on channel one. So now we have that glocking spell. Um, and you go to edit here, and I can change the way that sounds from gentle to hard. You can affect the decay. tone, the delay, rotary, so you kind of get the picture here. Now say if I wanted to layer this sound with this autumn breeze. Just unmute it again. Make sure you go to your MIDI channel and make sure you're all on the same channel. You can also mix the sound. So, like, if say I don't want this got the clock and spill is loud.
you can even pan it and stuff like that like I said you can download these different sounds here they got this colors thing um, you can put that in there so I'll take that and put this come on put that in there like this we're gonna mute out these other ones you go to MIDI make sure it's on patch uh, channel one and colors is pretty dope so like you can use these patches right here so pick on these different buttons it's going to give different sounds to the um, colors pretty super sick but you can get that and then you can come over here to easel and you can actually create your own uh own sound type thing um go here and then you can come over here and change the sound you know hear me add another patch sound of, of that instrument take this filter down some and again the cool thing is I can come over here and unmute these and literally you can make your own sound here um, you know again you can come over here and mix these sounds in to your liking Pan stuff. So let me put this. And as far as those effects, basically what you can do is you have these are different types of effects. So I can come over here and let's say I want to do some modulation. Let's say I want to put a uh, phaser or flanger let's say we'll do a crazy flanger on here so we have it on effect uh ox 3 it's the same thing like in your program you feel me if you want to put that effect on any of these let's say this colors one you gotta actually go to the effect bus right here in the mix there then you're gonna hear that effect so you can come over here to effects so I can change this out to whatever I want and effect act and change the actual effect this is like super lit actually so under mix that's where you're gonna be able to do all of that um, you can change your outputs and stuff like that here and then you have certain options as far as it's still affecting the sound but a whole lot of dope stuff here so I can have that um, flanger on the colors but not on um, anything else and then when I add these other sounds in This is an amazing opportunity for people. This on on this is a free, just the free stuff, bro. This is super crazy. Um, yeah, but y'all can get these packs and everything for free. 
they got a Glock and Spell one, the colors, the lo-fi, and then this guitar joint is pretty hard too. Throw that in there. And it's like same difference here. Um, I got that step flanger on there. I can come over here to that channel. Simple. Okay. I'm going to affect uh, the way it sounds. You can click on these guys at the bottom. You have different settings. But anyway, y'all, that's a brief overview of this uh, new plugin, bro. You know what y'all can do with this. You can layer sounds. You can do a whole lot of cool stuff, man. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.